Hey guys, it's Katie. Um, I'm sitting in the car at a rest stop on my way to Nashville. I'm so excited, like so excited. You would not even believe. Um, people are looking at me really weird. I'm waiting for my mom to get back to the car, then we're gonna grab some lunch. And then after we get lunch, we're probably just gonna drive straight through. I think we've got like two hours and 45 minutes left of our drive which is exciting and uh, I'm hoping that I'll get to play at the Bluebird Cafe open mic night tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna do some touristy stuff and this is just kinda gonna be a come along with me vlog I hate saying follow me around but this is just gonna be a, a come along with me type video I don't think she'll worry about that like 15 minutes outside of downtown Nashville and we got lucky and we get to stay actually like a mile from city center this trip which is pretty darn awesome because we're right in the middle of all the hustle and bustle and stuff um, so we've basically been on the same interstate for 136 miles and we've got 10 miles left. Aging table or agency. Visit Cole's Safe Home for more tips to make your home a safe zone. Brought to you by Okay guys, we just got to the hotel and checked into our room. And it's really nice. We have two beds. So I get to sleep on my own bed this time. And then we have a lovely view of the parking deck. But that's okay, because we're in Nashville. Right, Mom? Yes, we are. All right, it's okay, because we're in Nashville. We're we don't here. care. We don't care what our view looks like. <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to lay out my clothes and see what I brought and see what to wear to the Bluebird Cafe tonight. And just get ready real quick, because we have to leave in like half an hour for that. And I kind of want to calm down a little bit before <laughs> we go, because my nerves have been going crazy all day. Okay guys, so I've changed clothes and let me do a quick outfit of the day. I'm going to block you real quick because I'm going to spin the camera around. I don't want you guys to get dizzy. I'm just in this really cute little black and floral scarf. I have no idea where I got it. My nephew Riyadh got it for me for Christmas a year ago, a year or two ago. And then I'm wearing this um, white like Levi or Lee brand top from Target. And these destroyed jeans from a local boutique, boutique that I shop at. And my je my boots are also from a local, local boutique that I shop at. And so we are about to head to the Bluebird. Um, getting a little nervous. But more so about the fact that I don't know if I'm playing or not. Um, because it's like a lottery type thing. So you put your name down and they put all the names in a hat. And uh, basically if they draw your name, you play. If they don't draw your name, you don't play, which kind of sucks. I'm sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder so much. I just want to be sure that I'm like in focus and everything. So, mom, are you ready? All right, and I will probably film in the car, but definitely when we get there. I'm finally back from the Bluebird and I am so tired. I'm trying to figure out the right angle for this, but I'm so tired 
and hungry, so my mom and I are about to go upstairs in the hotel to uh, check out the lounge or whatever it is where they serve food. Um, I had such an amazing time playing with the Bluebird. Like, I think there were around 100 people there, and uh, it was the first time I played where literally everyone there truly cared about um, my music and like what I had to say and about me and it was just really cool like interesting and I played the bluebird like what Taylor Swift has played there like Keith Urban Sam Sam Hunt's probably played there like so many amazing people that I look up to so much have played there and and I'm rambling but I will have a link to my video from the bluebird down below I have to edit that together tonight um, and this is gonna be a three-day vlog by the way because I didn't do much today and I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot on Wednesday because those will be mainly car days and I will I probably won't vlog until tomorrow morning so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning bye Good morning, guys. It's day two here in Nashville. Mom and I just got ready for the day. If I can't stand in front of her. <laughs> we just got ready for the day. And we're about to go get some breakfast. It's supposed to be like 66 or 67 degrees today. So I'm in a t-shirt, which is kind of nice compared to the snow and ice that we got last week in Georgia. Um, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to get some breakfast. And I will... See you guys later. Okay guys, so we are getting our stuff ready to go for our tour of the Grand Ole Opry. So I had a waffle for breakfast, if anyone was interested. And uh, right after we go to the Grand Ole Opry, um, I am going to a writing session, which is like super exciting because it's my first Nashville writing session and it's with the lead singer of the band, Rusty Ship. And I will link their stuff down below because they're really, really good, very talented songwriters. Uh, so I figured I'll probably do a quick outfit of the day in the hotel mirror again. Uh, it's warm, so I mean, I'm taking a jacket, but this is what I've got so far. Oh, just my hair half up because it's a little bit rainy. I'm wearing a plain white v-neck from uh, Michael's. And my same ripped jeans from last night. And these like super cute uh, sandals. I don't know if you can see those. Here we go. These super cute sandals from Target that I got last spring. Uh, so yeah, and then for my jacket, I'm repping Atlanta with my Braves pullover quarter zip jacket from Victoria's Secret Pink that is really super cute. It says, meet me in the dugout on the back, and uh, so that makes me really excited. Oh, a text message. So, yeah, I'll take you guys along with this. I don't know if I can film inside the Grand Ole Opry. I don't know if they let us do that or not. Um, but if I can, you guys will see bits and pieces of it. And I'll probably film in the car or something on the way there and just be, like, really embarrassing and annoying for my mom. You guys, we're at the Opry. Mom, don't be shy. Don't walk away from me. <laughs> so it's really pretty and super cool. And there are a couple of big guitars that you can like take pictures with. So I think we're gonna do that and check out this little board thing. What? Oh well, I'm gonna search my bag. It's oh. Junky. Oh, should I put my pocket knife in the car? Uh -huh. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to stop here for now because I have to go take some things out of my purse and put them in the car because they're going to search our stuff. Oh my god, mom, we missed Claire Bowen. She's in Nashville. And Jonathan, jo oh, Avery. So, 
I guess we're gonna go and look at this and then see what's going on. Oh, Kelsey Ballerini's going on tonight. All right, bye guys. Um, we just got lunch after touring the Grand Ole Opry, which was so cool. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. We got to go in Studio A where they filmed like parts of Nashville and they filmed Hee Haw there for the last 13 years, I think is what they said. Um, and I got my picture taken on the stage, which, where did I put that? It's in the back seat. Um, which was really cool. I almost cried like four times because it was so just amazing. It was such an amazing experience. So here is me standing on the stage, if I can get it in focus. And I'll have a better quality picture of that on my Facebook music page linked down below. So now mom and I are driving to my co-writing session. Um, and then we're gonna try and figure out what to do the rest of the day. We're going to the Hard Rock for dinner. Uh, and yeah, I think if you guys have not been to Nashville or if you're planning on coming to Nashville, put on your bucket list to go to the Grand Ole Opry and do a backstage tour. Because miles, that was- Big exit to merge onto I-40 West. That was like the best experience of my life. Except for playing last night at the Bluebird, which was also really awesome. I really forgot to vlog the rest of today. Um, it's only like seven o'clock, but we just got back to the hotel. I did some shopping on Broadway and like we went and saw the lower Broadway band. Y'all need to check them out. They're amazing. Like they're so good. We ate dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe. Which was, it was good. It was, we got the, their chicken mac and cheese and I just ate the mac and cheese part. Um, <clears throat> and the green beans. So that was okay. So now I'm watching Pretty Little Liars back in the hotel. Um, I'm about to ice my ankle because I twisted it the other day. And we walked a lot. And mom's back with ice. Because she's awesome and she went and got it for me. Um, <coughs> We, I will be posting a picture of my Grand Ole Opry, a copy of my Grand Ole Opry picture uh, to my Instagram later tonight. So I might vlog later, I'm not sure, but just in case, good night guys. Good morning guys. It's like 11.30 central time in the morning. Um, we've already had breakfast at the hotel. Checked out, unfortunately, like it makes me really sad. I don't wanna leave. Nashville, it's like one of my favorite places. And the longer amounts of time that I spend here, the, the less I want to go back to Georgia. Uh, but we're currently on our way back towards Atlanta from the Loveless Cafe, which, like I said last night, I will be doing a blog post on, and the link to my blog will be down below. Um, and my mom had to run into Kroger to get something so I can ice my ankle because my ankle is hurting really bad right now and it's kind of swollen. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, sitting in the Kroger parking lot, I'm really bored. I'm listening to um, some local country radio station, like whatever one has the Bobby Bones show in the morning and they're so funny. Uh, and I missed Sam Hunt on it this morning which made me really sad. But, yeah, we're trying to get out of Nashville before the ice hits, which will be soon. So, we're trying to get out of the city before then. We're back in Georgia. We're not at the house yet. We're still, like, two hours from the house. We just got to Georgia. Uh, and, like, rush hour is about to start, so we have no idea what we're going to do for dinner. Um, and my mom is inside the visitor center looking around and using the bathroom and stuff, and I am in the car, icing my foot. My ankle, whatever. So, I'm trying not to show people as I walk by. So we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we are in Ball Ground, Georgia, wherever that is, trying to figure out where we are going to go for dinner. We're on a bumpy road or something. The car is really shaky. Uh, I just woke up from a nap. I slept for a while. I slept for like an hour, right? I slept for almost an hour. 
Um, so now, mom's still driving. <laughs> uh, we're listening to Rickston, and I guess we're gonna try and find like an outlet mall or something where there's gonna be like restaurants that we're familiar with around. Um, oh my gosh. I buried my face in my pillow to keep myself, like to keep the sun out of my eyes. So my makeup is like all over the place. Not that, I, oh that's pretty. Not that I even wore much, just concealer and mascara today because I did not care. <laughs> so I guess I'll let y'all know where we're going for dinner or if we see anything interesting. We just drove through historic downtown ball ground and it was a blink and you miss it town, I think. Because I think we're out of his the historic district at least. But I will see y'all later.